when I was up in Panama City, I saw a lot of a lot of houses that were a Dutch hip in the front and a hip in the back. Well, there is no roof in Xactimate where you can do that as one roof. So what you do is you create it into two roofs and you put them together. I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my F key. And if you want to follow along here, this is, this is a good exercise for you. So we had a Dutch hip in the front and a hip in the back. So I'm going to hit the F key. And I'm going to get to go to my... Uh, I started to rotate it, which I probably need to do. I'm going to hit the tab key till I get to my Dutch hip. There's, uh, there's partial hip. There's my Dutch hip right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down because it's hard to tell which way is the Dutch. And I can see that I need to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it like that. And now when I go into my properties, you'll notice I can change one end but I, when, I, when you change one end, it changes it to a, a gable. It won't let me put a hip in the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to leave the Dutch hip in the front on the D side. You can see it says D right there. So instead of saying, give me a, a Dutch hip on both ends, I'm going to say, just give me a Dutch hip on the D end only. And you'll notice how it doesn't let me change the back to a hip. So I've got a Dutch hip with a gable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out another roof there. I'm going to go to a hip. I'm going to put it down. And remember, you always want to create your hip roofs with the ridge running from left to right so that you don't get that error message. We went over that in, uh, in one of my previous videos in the level two. So we're going to pull this right just so, so that our ridge runs horizontally. And then we're going to, again change one side to a gable. So we're going to double click here and we're going to say just leave my let's say the D end as a hip. There we go and now we've got our hip in the back and now we can combine the two. So I'm going to click this and make it a little shorter so it fits on the screen there. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to go counterclockwise. So I'm going to hit my shift tab and then I'm going to put them together. And this is a place where you could use that snap line we learned how to use a little while ago. If you hit the S key for our snap line and you zoom in and you put that both snap lines right there. See how it snapped right to that corner? Now when I grab this one, it's going to snap right there horizontally and vertically right there to make a one roof. Then I'm going to click on the snap line. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click here. I'm going to get rid of my two overhangs because I don't, not that it really affects anything. You could leave them that way, but looks nicer if the overhangs are gone. And now you take and make one room a subgroup of the other. So I'm going to hit my Control Shift C and my shortcut for making a subgroup. And notice it made the back a subgroup here. So now I can double click on there and say hide that label. Click out of it. Probably want to move my label there, center it a little bit. So I'm going to hover my mouse over the diamond, hit the space bar. Once it turns green, I can move it to where I like. And now I've got a roof, two roofs that I turned into one because it's what I needed. And I've got my Dutch hip in the front and my hip in the back. So if you can't come up with something that you need that Xactimate won't do, see if it can be broken up into parts. And then just put the parts together. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.